The easiest way to talk about servant leadership is how do we make other people successful? Thank you to the School of Medicine and to the anonymous donor who put this fund in place and named it after me. I was blown away by that. And half the funds are to be used for faculty development in this area. And this keynote, this inaugural address is geared toward launching this faculty development program. So again, uh, quite a privilege. The primary idea was to be a servant first. A lot of people put it the other way around, where if you're a leader and then you act like a servant, but that's not how it was intended. It was really intended, who's got a servant's heart? And then, oh, by the way, you make the choice to lead. And the purpose is to lead a group of other people to be successful. I mean, that's, that's our training here is team-based care, and healthcare is all about teams. And knowing when you're the servant leader on the team or when you're just part of the team and looking up to the servant leaders. And I'm glad that she defined it um, to know when, when what roles I should be in at different times as a medical student now and as a future physician. This school is an example of recruiting for that and teaching. It can be taught, but not without a person being teachable. So to Jackie's point, uh, that aspect of humility is necessary for somebody to actually learn it. I think Dr. Kapper's answer to the question that was asked about whether you can teach empathy or whether it's something that just has to be innate was um, the most interesting answer. I work with Dr. Kapper quite a bit. It's been really phenomenal to watch him in clinic, the kind of physician that I would like to be, and teaching me how to become a more empathetic physician. I mean, you just have to like do it as an example. I mean, you know, when you're, um, when you have a med student with you and you're doing something and you get a call or there's a patient issue and you put, you drop everything to take care of that or when you return a call from another physician. But you can model that for students, right? So students can either see other people not doing that or see you doing it. We're all leaders in some fashion. No matter what job we have or where we're at in life, whether it's at home or at work or in an organization where you may be volunteering, whatever it is, we have a role to be a leader of someone else. So again, keeping those factors in mind of treating others specially with dignity, with worth, and then listening to them, communicating in an honest, open, transparent way and hearing what makes them tick. That would be great to take for people to take away from this series.